accommodate whatever you want to include in their curriculum. And by teaching them, you also know what they need, how quickly they're progressing or how slowly they're going in their learning path. Like sometimes they don't get something, so you can slow down. If they're getting it quickly, you can teach in like that way. So you can move on quickly. That you won't find in the public school. And basically, like my older one, you used to go kindergarten. So kindergarten teacher was very nice. So I never thought about any alternative for my kids. I was happy with the public school. But in second grade, when he started, I was attending all the meetings every day when he comes home. I used to ask, we used to revise everything. And I all the time, I, uh, I means I like to ask the teacher what I can do. But teacher always tell me, you don't have to do anything. And then in third quarter, I got the report of my son. And she said, OK, he's not having a grasp on even kindergarten spellings. So I, I was surprised that I asked teacher everything. I attended all the parents meeting, everything. Still, in third quarter, I got to know that my son is lacking in kindergarten spellings in first grade. So that's when I realized, OK, it doesn't depend on the school. It depends on the teacher. So it's like a chance. Whatever teacher you got every year, it depends on that. And I see some other changes also in him. Because still kindergarten, he was very fine taking any kind of lunch. Doesn't matter, Indian, American, any kind of it. He never told me that, OK, I won't take this. I won't wear this cloth. But I started seeing changes in first grade when he told me, OK, I don't want to take Indian food. It smells or I don't want to take I don't want to wear this. He, so he's I see the influence of the environment he is surrounded in the school because they go eight hours in the school. So mostly they are surrounded by it. So when they are surrounded in that environment and if we want to see like, my kids eat Indian things or wear this or do this, then it will be very hard especially for me, I find it very hard. So same time we come across this homeschooling concept and we tried out in the in his track out and it worked out nice. So we decided that, okay, we'll do at least because they were in elementary. So we decided to do homeschooling. So I did some research also because suddenly moving it and especially as uh, my background is I'm from India. I have some conceptions in my mind that knows without school, we they can be successful or like that. So to erase those idea, I have to go through like a lot of, I have to read a lot of book. I research that, okay, is there any other Indian families doing it? How they're doing it? So me and my husband, we both search it out and we started doing it in his second grade, yeah. And same time, my younger one was in uh, pre-K. So initially, I wasn't that sure that I was able to do it. So I, I also enrolled them in the Gurukul. So we used to do both. Sometime, like, to one a day, once a week, they used to go to the Gurukul. And uh, other day, I used to teach them at the home, at home. So that worked out nice also. That gave me confidence because I met other teachers in the Gurukul. So, and through the temple and the ISKCON, ISKCON group, I got to know a lot of resources that, okay, there are a lot of parents in the ISKCON, they are doing doing this. So we come across other, other parents and seeing them doing it, that gave us confidence. And we we started doing it. So for one year, I struggled because I had to figure out everything, like what to teach, where to get the curriculum. I got few resources from the Gurukul teachers, like we had fun store here, and then we can go online and find it. So one year was like going ups and down, getting used to with the homeschooling. But after sec, uh, first year done, and when they gave exam, and when I got the result, that gave us a confidence, okay, that we can do it. Because when 
results come, usually we go through that. But then after first year, second year, as we doing it, it's we progressing in the homeschool, I started seeing the results. Like I can know my kid as a family, we spend more time with us like together. So it is it is peaceful environment in the house. And we we can grow spiritually because as a part of the homeschool, we introduced like we in the morning we used to do arti, we used to do slokas, we read Bhagavatam. So they participate in it. And uh, in that journey, I also progressed in my spiritual life also with them. And by progressing in that way, it helped us in other subjects also to me and to my kids also i see the difference like doing spiritual things and it helps in the academic also so that like gives us a boost to continue so that way we did like three years of schooling and uh, yeah during that journey there are challenges also because my younger one he wasn't ready to sit I have some conceptions like, okay, kids should be sitting and learning. When I was teaching, when I was teaching, I thought, okay, uh, it's like they're supposed to be sit and listen to me, and that's how they should be learning. So that went for one year, and I struggle a lot because it's a kid, right? It, he is in kindergarten. He doesn't have that much focus palm that he can sit for hours. That's what they use they are doing in the public school they have no option they have to sit and listen and in the home they because obviously you as a parent you're teaching them so they're gonna wander around but then i used to read a book so i came across a few books and they it gave me like perspective okay don't expect this this then you will struggle so i used to change every time like we used to buy curriculum if i see my kid is struggling then we used to change and i kept up with like um with my research also all the time because you have to adjust sometime because i had like nobody he's here from the community is doing that time with me it's either i have option of gurukul otherwise searching the online so I tried both way and it worked out for three years and it was very good because and when I started, I faced a lot of uh, resistance from the family, from the other friends, wherever I go, they ask me, oh, you started homeschooling, you, you're not going to put your kids in the school, then they're not going to get good education, how you can do it like other all the subject by yourself, they're not going to get meet other kids so they won't be socialized then lots of other that if you're doing it how about they didn't get in the college how they're gonna go into the college how they're gonna do it other stuff so a lot of like questions I faced that but as we kept on doing it I I didn't see any like problem in doing it my kids they are actually not lacking in socialization but they are doing over socialization because we are at home so i can plan their activity anytime because you are the in charge of their schedule if they wake up late school starts late if they have a morning activity you can do school in the evening because whole it's up to you when you want to do it if they want to break in the weekdays you can do it in the weekend so they don't get stress out you also don't get stressed out because if they're going into the school and if you plan any activity, you have only a few hours of window to do those activity. But if you're doing homeschooling, then you have a whole day to plan anytime. So we used to go swimming class in the morning. That way there is no crowd. They used to do nicely in the swimming class and we can do school afterwards. So we used to include a lot of curriculum activities. That is the benefit when you do homeschool. You can include whatever you want, whatever your kid likes it. Like any activity, if he likes it, you can put into the curriculum. You can incorporate any time in the day. 
So we, we used to visit temples. So they exposed to that part more. I want them to grow in that journey also. So you are not restricted by their school schedule. You can make your schedule. You can go anytime, anywhere. You can travel more. They said, okay, you won't be have field trips. In school, they just do one or max two field trips. But as a family in homeschool, you can plan whole family's trip anytime. You are not restricted to their school days and holidays. So you can go anywhere off season. So you won't find crowd and you go as a family and you choose like where you want to visit. You can make it like a field trip. So you are not restricted. Like when I used to teach them in science, if we learning something, then if the kids say, okay, let's go here, or I want to see this. Then we used to go in the museum and we see it live right when we are learning on that day or the next day. So you can give them both at the same time, like theory and practical. You can plan accordingly and you can incorporate. That can be done in the school. They do give it stuff, but in school also there are teachers are restricted, right? They have to follow the schedule. So most of the time goes in handling kids, they coming, they're going out, they have other activities. In homeschool, that doesn't require, like you wake up, you do whatever your schedule you plan during the day, you do. You don't have to waste time. So we used to do like main core subjects, like which is math and in four things in the language art. We used to do it within two hours. So I left, me and kids left with six other hours to do other activity. So we used to incorporate a lot of other activities, like two, three languages they were learning. They were learning other like uh, Lego coding and they used to do other activities like um, they they used to like a lot a Lego. So I used to incorporate that into all the subjects. Like when we I used to teach my kindergarten kid that one, two, three, four, like numbers, right? So we used to use Lego and we do it because he used to love Lego. So you know your kid, what he liking it. So you can teach him one-on-one, -on -one, which can be compared to the public school. Their teacher has to look after all the 20 kids or whatever number of kids are there. If one is done quickly and other are not done, the other kid who done quickly, he has to wait. So they get bored also. And the other kid who are not picking up with the whole class, sometime he, if class moves on, he has to move on. Doesn't matter he got it or doesn't got it. So there are some pros and cons. So homeschooling so far, I found it, it's like the good way because public school, there are some stuff which I didn't like it and I couldn't afford the private school. So homeschooling is like in between. It's, it's a private school, like, like, yeah, it's because it's more than a private school because you teaching your kid one-on-one -on -one. So you know how much quickly or what pace he's going in his learning. So during this three year homeschool journey, it, it was amazing for the kids. And especially if you wanna give it a try, you should be doing it like in the tryout in elementary years. That way, if you feel like if you, they're gonna lose something, then elementary, they don't teach it like that much, not that vigorous learning is in the elementary. So you can try it out. So just by trying out, you will feel that as a family, you will grow. You will know your kids and that will help in lifelong. Like that's what I felt because I did that three year. Now it's helping because it's my, my kids are going again in public school. But now I know what they are doing it if he comes home and I see report and if I see like, okay, he doesn't got this. So I know where to find the resource now because I did it that three year. So I know where to find the resource. Now I can help him. So I know that way him better both, both way, like his academics also. So by doing in elementary, 
just spent few years in the homeschooling uh now i know like what is the scenario till the college because when you do it you you go into it right you research you study everything what is it so that's what i did before starting and during doing that so that gave me all the resources now now they going in a public school but when we have a track out like that i don't have to put them into something like some classes because i already have the resources so during those track out also still we doing some parts of the home school so that's been a very good journey from like for my per my perspective home schooling is the best and if you are not sure that you can do it till the colleges just do it for the elementary that is good for the family for the kids because they are growing they are very young so those are the those five years it's growing age if you can give them some value you spend time with them because those are the year they need the your time more than the money or other stuff they will love it you you will get to know your kids and those years are basically that they teaching them the basics so if you teaching them the basics for for those years their basics will be strong that will help them in the further studies because you teaching them one on one so they will get get it nicely and when i started i felt like okay i am not qualified to do it but as i started reading more listening other homeschool moms that okay you, you can do it because when you buy the curriculums in homeschooling basically they design the curriculums considering that parents maybe like they have a degree not degree they confident non -confident. but those curriculums are very nice that it will give you career, uh, like confidence to teach them so they don't they're not going to lose anything those curriculums are designed nicely so yeah it's no question of like you can't teach them you can teach them and there are in i think most of the states have their uh, regulation so you have to follow certain regulations also that states like here in north carolina you have to register you have to do 180 days of school so you have to keep the record of attendance whenever you teaching you have to keep that record and end of the year they have to give the exam and you have to keep all the records so and they have a requirement like they can come anytime and inspect that what you teaching so there are regulations related to it. So yeah, that's from my side. That's wonderful, Mataji. So from what I a reason cure. So from what I understand, what we understand is if somebody has the time to do homeschooling and has willingness to do homeschooling, then even though they are not confident, even though they don't have resources of how to do it, they can all be provided, though there is no prior teaching experience or skills. Hena? Yes, yeah. because curriculums are designed like that. It's like, say, uh, here, I have it. I kept it with me. So see, this, uh, this is the math curriculum. I'm not sure. Blur, can... blur. Yeah, I think that that distance is good. Close was blurred. So see here. Um, uh, uh, that's okay. Now, it's... so here, see, this is the math lesson. So they wrote sentence by sentence. If you are not confident, what to how to start teaching them? They write the sentences like see here they have the sentence like ask your child to write the date on the calendar and the meeting strip so you don't have to come up with even sentence what to it because sometimes we will have a language barrier that i i grew up in india so my pronunciations are not that good or i don't my maybe my english uh, it's not that good either so i do, i don't know what to ask but curriculums are like that 
said that it's all the questions are there what to how to start sentence by sentence and when you start doing it maybe one lesson or few lesson you struggle but once you start doing it you will get a confidence then you don't have to even look here because if you studied right we all studied till 12th grade because that's what the state requirement is parents should be 12th part, like 12th graduated till 12 they should be studied then they can teach their kids so if you are studied till 12th grade you will be able to do it that's well said if you have studied 12th grade you yeah. will be able to do it and as you're saying it's so much of easy spoon feed this is how you form up yes okay this is very wonderful and dear parents whoever has any questions and Madhuji, if you have to summarize whatever you have said, if we have to divide it into pros or cons, one statement, as we have just heard, is if you are interested in doing homeschooling, even before that, homeschooling has huge advantages when compared to public schooling, right? And second point is having seen what public schooling can expose our children to, I think I can go ahead and say the second thing. Public schooling can be quite a challenge with the peer pressure and the culture that the um, children are exposed to. Those two statements are pretty clear. And the third one is, um, if knowing this, if somebody has time, just the time, if somebody has the time to do the homeschooling and Though not greatly interested, they can still, though not greatly interested, but if they have realized that the homeschooling has far more advantages than the public schooling, then automatically, though there is no big interest, they see the necessity. So in that setting, even though there is no prior uh, experience or resources, all of those are available to do the homeschooling, right? Um, these are established points so far. And if we have to ask, what are the pros and cons? And for the homeschooling and public school, uh, if you have to say a few pros and cons like that, Mataji, and after that, we can take the questions from the parents. Yeah, so like when I started, I came across first question was you are isolating your kids. They are not going to socialize because in school they think, okay, when they go, they meet other 20, 40 kids. But they are same mentality. All the kids are same. If one person is doing something, other kids want to do same thing. There is no like um, some, there is teacher is there, but they getting exposed to the same level nobody is guiding them because their consciousness is at the same level right but when you're doing homeschooling and if you have a two kids at home I, like i used to have it one is younger one is older one so younger one is getting exposed to the older one what he's learning what he is doing so he got to see the step ahead that what's it how should i behave like that we used to go temple so they're going to meet there a lot of other devotees because weekdays also I can accommodate anything. I can meet anybody. So if they feel like, okay, no, not today. I want to go play. We used to go in the playground because you can go anytime. If they don't want to study, you can put that schedule like, okay, let's recess, we go any, any public or any playground. You will meet kids there. And I see that difference that they developed actually nice social skill. When they used to go to school, when we go to playground, they just play because they know I have a friends in the school. But when I used to do homeschooling, they when I took them to the playground, they used to go and introduce themselves to the other kids because they are very eager to meet other kids. So they developed that thing that how to talk to the other kids or other strangers. They open themselves up because and like you meet your friends and um, go to temple, you can go anytime, right? Other classes also. So that way they get exposed to lots of other kids also. So there is no isolating them. Yeah. Instead, I feel like they opened up 
a lot. So, this is in that. regards to the socializing, our ball right? So there mm -hmm. is, in the pros and cons, we may think that um, if the child is homeschooled, then they may not socialize much or they may not have the social skills. They are not exposed to the social skills. We may think like that, but that's not the case. In homes, uh, actually, from what I hear is, it with the homeschooling, the socializing skills are a little more better. And uh, these children get exposed to, if they have um, older ones, they, them also. So they are getting a little more than the socializing skills that they would get at the public school. Yes. So in that way, there is no concern about the socializing when it comes to the homeschooling. You know? So that's one point regarding the socializing. It is only better <laughs> with the homeschooling when compared to the public school. Yeah. Yes, Mataji. Thank you. The other thing was like, it's like, they said, okay, in school, they have resources, they have a trained teachers, but in homeschool, like you, you teacher, you might not, you feel like, okay, I can teach them, but you have a nice curriculum to support you. You, you might have like, sometime I feel like, okay, I'm not, because I had younger one and older one. So I had the pronunciation problem teaching my younger one. But my older one, he he already been through. But still, I had to teach him also. So I got some applications, right? They pronounce for me. So I just did one year. From the second year, my older one, he used to study by himself. So he just come to me that, okay, I didn't got this. You, you help me with that. So even though if I don't know, there are resources online. There are other people you can ask for the help. So it's not like restricted that you are not professionally trained so you can teach your kids. It's not like that. You will find a lot of resources. So that is another like benefit because in school, teachers are also stressed out because I, I been before starting homeschool, I, I like ask questions to other teachers. I found because I have few friends around here that they teach in the school because I was not feeling secure to start also. So I, I went through all those pros and cons. I met the other teachers and asked them and they said their perspective because we, we don't know what they're doing in the school, but they, they've been in there. So I asked them, they said, yeah, we also sometimes stressed out. So even though they are like qualified, but it depends, right? But if you teaching your kids, you are doing one on one. So that lot, of difference is there so it yes. that way so it's it's beneficial homeschooling yes. is good thank you thank you mataji dear parents yes please any questions or clarifications you would like to seek if you may uh, please raise the hands then uh, you can go ahead and ask the questions that you would like to Barsana, please, mataji. that was nailing down so many points thank you <laughs> And some parents might think like, okay, it's financially, it's it's more burden because one parent is working and one is not working or financially it's costly. It, it is not costly. Mm -hmm. I find it, it's even cheaper because homeschooling curriculum I used to buy and I calculated whole year I spend when they going in public school. I ended up a lot less than that uh -huh. because school you have to buy everything their bags their lunch boxes their clothes yeah. they have fundraising you have to give their teacher appreciation that that if you uh, find yes. everything yeah you will end up saving just buying curriculum so then money go... also is not a great matter thank you yeah. and rama mataji do you have a question yes please go ahead rajneesh prabhu has some questions <laughs> yes Hare krishna thank you Thank you very much for the presentation. Thank you, Jola Mataji, for hosting this. Uh, I think uh, Vaman Hari Prabhu has a question he, he asked in the comment. Uh -huh. uh, and I can ask later after once we reply yeah. to that. I'm trying to see Prabhu's screen. Okay. And um, yes, Vaman Hari Prabhu, question for speaker Mataji, Varsana Mataji. Your child was not up to the mark as per the second grade teacher. How about other children in general in the class? They were all up to the mark or was it just your child? Um, that was the question. 
and um, he was Prabhu was uh, expressing his gratitude also for sharing the information. Yes, much. Thank you, Prabhu, for the gratitude. And yeah, because like my older one, I I see in uh, like kindergarten when he was there. I find teacher very nicely. She was communicating with me, whatever he's lacking, she is telling me that, okay, he got to work on this. So we used to work on that. But when he moved on to the first grade, the teacher, I used to ask same thing, what I used to do with the kindergarten teacher. So she used to say, oh, he is good, he is good. But in third grade, when I get the report, in that report, it's typed out that he doesn't know the kindergarten spelling. And so for me, it was like, I was meeting you, I was asking you every time, and you just printing that in the report in third quarter that he's not knowing that kindergarten while he's all the, almost about to end the first grade. So I didn't ask other parents in this like class how other kids are doing with, but I just focus on my kids and that's what I find troubling. That when I realized, okay, school doesn't matter because the school he's going, its rating was very good there is no doubt they it's good one but i find that is the difference between two teachers so then i realize okay it's up to the teacher because they also it's not fault of a teacher also because she has to handle like 20 kids so how much personalization she can give she can't if even though she find that my kid is lacking in kindergarten she doesn't have the time to sit down with my kid and teach those spellings so, because she has to consider all the kids. Mm -hmm. So basically you are saying uh, there is more opportunity to give all the time and attention that your child needs when you're doing homeschooling as opposed to uh, the public school where that not be given. Yeah, thank and, you. Uh, if public school teacher willing to do it, if she but focuses still, on one kid, mm -hmm. 19 will suffer. Right. So it's the fault of a teacher also. It's right. like kind right. of like a system. The setting is like that. Yes. Is like yeah. that. Thank you. Yeah, Rajneesh Prabhu, please go ahead. Yeah, Mataji, uh, so um, I decided like one fine day, I decided like you know, I'm, I'm going to homeschool my my daughter and, and Vedant, my son. Reason why some of the same thing you mentioned that when she was going to the school, she's not even opening her lunch. And after a few days, we realized that because of the kids were saying, Oh, your your is cross, like color wise. Like if you say send her like paneer, uh, uh, pa palak paneer, or you know, rajma, things like that. So, and that's what now she stopped eating those stuff. And then slowly, slowly, we noticed that she's not. She's always tired because obviously she's not eating well. You know, she's not eating well. She's in school for almost eight thirty till four thirty. Like for that period of time, she, she hardly eats anything. And then coming back, she's tired. We cannot work, sit with her and and work with her because we were not. And she was not telling us what's happening. Like in school, what is she learning? Uh, what is happening? What she learned in maths? What she so like it was very dis it was very disconnected, which which was really bothering me because. I want to know what's going on, both academically, both as as well socially, and what's. But she was not. Kidding. So over this, like during Thanksgiving break, also.